<laughs> good day, good day. How the honk are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O. Yes, the channel that's anything and everything Land Rovers. And today we got a one off Wednesday. Yeah, sorry for the glare. We're already <laughs> we're already shining it in your eyes. All right, what we got today is the Airfix long wheelbase, the LWB Land Rover and trailer hardtop. That's right. This is in 176 scale. Um, the uh, kit model number is A Ought Two Tree Two Four. Yes. And uh, you can see the different um, variations that you can make out of this kit. This is the uh, only one and only that I've got. I did, I believe, uh, buy this in, t in person. Yep, I bought it in person, Hobby Town, USA, which is over by uh, where my diecast club meets. There's a Hobby Town uh, store. It's uh, um, all kinds of stuff, uh, RC uh, kits, uh, just all kinds of hobbies and uh, things there at the store. And uh, funny thing, I was doing some research on this. Um, and, uh, and and I bought this not too long ago, maybe two years ago, a year ago, and I uh, looked at, I was looking this up online and uh, 1099, that's kind of the going price. So they really haven't gone up in the price or down in price. So uh, sitting right there, sitting right there. That's right. So we're just taking a look around the package. As you see, this is um, still sealed up and uh, just, yeah, uh, Humbrol. Yeah, so you can get the enamels, acrylics, and their, uh, their uh, cement. Yeah, okay, hey, this is a, a one, a skill level one, so I might be able to uh, put that together. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the back. I'm gonna take a uh, little jaunt down the road here with this uh, um, kit while we looking at the uh, package. Uh, so this originally was a JB Models uh, kit. Uh, back in 1992 it came out as a soft top, just the vehicle. And uh, JB Models, if you don't know anything about them, check them out, good company. Uh, black and white, the car was facing the other direction, but just uh, plain simple packaging, nothing fancy. 1993 JB models put out a uh, a new one new parts new box and it was a soft top as well where this one is the hard top but so the first two were soft tops I think the second one in 1993 had a colored box uh, that time and uh, so somewhere in between 93 and 2008 they did one more, JB Models did one more of this kit, and uh, new parts, new box, hard top, with the GS trailer. Do you know what GS stands for? General service, yes, you're right. All right, you guys passed the uh, Land Rover uh, quiz. <laughs> All right, so then uh, Airfix came in at uh, 2008, and new, new uh, decals, new box, soft top with the trailer. So they kind of added some stuff. Now they did it with the soft top with the trailer. Uh, 2008, uh, somewhere in 2008 and 2012, they did another, uh, Airfix did another one, new box, but it was the uh, hard top with the trailer, kind of like this one. Uh, I think that one was facing the other way on that one. And then uh, 2012 Air Airfix did uh, the soft top again with the trailer, new decals and that, of course, a little bit different box. And then uh, this one supposedly is uh, like the 2012. This is the latest installment. This is the last one. Uh, and I believe Airfix is the only one that, uh, or has the uh, rights or whatever to these, this kit, model kit right now. So pretty cool. It um, 
It, uh, yeah, they only changed the box. The last time they only really changed the box be because it was uh, from the soft top to the hard top. But uh, it comes with plastic spear, uh, plastic spear clear, and then the deco sheet. And uh, so, but it's a full kit in uh, 160, uh, 176. So just a really, really cool uh, uh, model. I like it. It's not that big. That that bugger is kind of small. Uh, there are um, some YouTube videos out there. If you uh, go ahead and Google or uh, search YouTube for this, there are some guys that put these together. Uh, I am not at all uh, talented enough to <laughs> do the work that they do. I've never did any weathering or anything like that. When I was a young lad putting kits together, we just painted it and put it together and then we were happy that we got it together. So, um, oh, there's a little ditty about the hardtop long wheelbase Land Rover. Uh, yeah, so really kind of cool. I don't know, does that tell you? Yeah, it doesn't really tell you what, uh, um, what do you call it? The, the deco or the uh, camouflage on that one. It doesn't really say what that era that's from or anything like that. But that trailer is uh, really kind of cool. That's a nice addition to them. And I suppose, uh, you know, JB, well, uh, JB Models uh, did that because then they could take that, that trailer and uh, throw it in uh, different kits, you know, uh, model kits. So this is a Series 3, uh, 109, long wheelbase, so that'd be 109. Uh, this would be a hardtop. Now, I did happen to own uh, one of these. Mine didn't have the little bumperettes on it. Uh, I did have one, but it was an 88, and it was a GS, uh, General Service, uh, Series 3 um, Army vehicle. It was uh, this guy here. You can see this guy here. So this is a right hooker. Mine uh, was imported into the United States, but it was a left hooker, uh, and it and it had um, where did it go? It was uh, painted black with the uh, radar deflectant uh, paint. Yeah, you could see they <laughs> they must give the GIs just a five inch uh, barn brush <laughs> and just put it on uh, the uh, the black uh, the the uh, green. And funny thing was. Uh, you open it up and it was bronze green inside and everything was bronze green under the hood was bronze green But then they just painted this uh, drab olive green over it uh, Yeah, once again, I don't even think they sprayed it. I think they painted that on but then when they went to put on the uh, black striping on mine Yeah, it was just like a, a heavy-duty. Thank you very much slap slap five inch uh, brush, uh, paintbrush, and uh, yeah, it was pretty, pretty awesome. I, I kind of miss my trucks. I should uh, try to get a hold of the guy that uh, has it now and see if he wants to sell it back to me. These are kind of unique. Uh, these are a uh, quick release headlight replacement. They don't have the bezel around it. Uh, these are uh, you, you. They're spring loaded. You kind of push them in and turn them. And then the heads come off, uh, you know, the light bulbs come right out. So it's kind of quick release. You can change them out real quick. But then to, uh, it's a sealed beam bulb, you know, headlight. And you do have to, um, you know, take a minute to put a new bulb in that carrier that you can just slide in there. Uh, but it, it is a quick release. I would assume that the uh, mechanics uh, have, um, you know... Um, more spares so you can just pop them in and then he can at his leisure uh, put the brackets on there. But I had the uh, nice uh, lice uh, side mirrors on there and uh, stuff like that. But really, really kind of cool. Really kind of cool. Now, interestingly enough, I thought the uh, gas filler cap was on this side. Yeah, it should be on this side because uh, the gas can is uh, always under the driver, isn't it? That's what I thought. Well, anyway, I could be wrong. Anyway, mine also had the uh, deluxe hood. It didn't have the knife ed edge. Series 3, it did have the, the uh, deluxe bonnet on it, so that was pretty cool. But it did have the holes for the uh, bumperettes, 
uh, but uh, they were not there. So, yeah, all right. Anyway, all right, well, there you go. It's a one-up Wednesday for you all, Air Fix. And uh, do you got any of these? Yeah, come on over to Facebook to Roverland. Tell me about yours. Hey, show me your pictures of yours that you have put together. Hopefully someday I can get another one and I can open it up and put it together here on the channel. That'd be awesome. Come over to Instagram, Roverland channel. Show me yours up in there. Follow me there. All right. This is your friend Dano saying adios. Thank you very much for joining me. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. And as always, remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.